Hi beauties, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Today is our first Halloween look of the season and we're going to do a half angel, half demon face. So it's going to be really, really nice. I'm so excited to do it. I, I have never seen anybody do it the way I'm doing it. So I hope it comes out how I want it to. If you guys are interested in seeing the creation of our angel demon look, then please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, let me know if you're feeling it, and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe 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 hey hey subscribe subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed thank you so much for your support and let's go all right beauties let's get started on our angel and demon so we need to separate the face in half so we're going to have it kind of going crooked i don't want it to be straight down so it's going at an angle one side will be the devil side and one side will be the angel side so have a cold liner to just go across with that you can kind of erase if you need to then we need to conceal the brow so put lash glue on your brow brush it up with a spoolie go in with the setting powder this is a chalk dust powder in the letter a and then brush it up one more time and your brow is concealed if you want it to be flatter do it one more time and then go over it with concealer and just blend out the edges and you might want to do two coats i did two coats of concealer just to make sure that it is as concealed as possible Next, we're going to go in with the Mayron makeup. This is the makeup that we're going to use to cover the devil side of the face. So I'm putting that red color all the way down to my chest, um, up to my forehead. And I did do two coats just to make sure that it was not opaque. So make sure that you do two coats, go into that ear, and I even went into the hairline towards the end. Next, I'm going into the box of crayons, palette from the crayon case, and I am going into the um, red color so we can set the red. So anytime you put a paint down or something wet like a cream, you usually want to set it. And so I'm just setting everything with the red um, eyeshadow just so that it looks nice and mattified. Now we need to add dimension. So I'm going into this pink color and the crayon case palette and going over the colors where I would normally highlight. And I wanted it to be even a little brighter than it showed up. So I decided to go into my setting powder. This is the A Chalk Dust setting powder once again. And I am adding that underneath my eye, under the cheekbone, the nose, and the forehead, which is the areas I would normally highlight. So I am just adding that. I'm not going to let it sit for too long. Then we're going to go into this burgundy or dark plum color and this red color mixed and start to kind of create the area where I want to contour. So I'm just kind of mapping that out prior to um, brushing away the highlight. And now that I added it and um, got that mapped out, I'm blending that powder away. Now that that is blended away, I'm going to go back to my contour and I'm going to blend where I want it to go. So I already kind of mapped it out. Now I am going over the line to make it more intense at the bottom. And I just went into the black right here and then started to blend it up. And then you just want to continue to do this until you get it how dark you want it. So I want this to be much darker. I'm tapping once again and blending up tapping and blending up and tapping and blending up until I get it exactly how I want it. Make sure to take your time on the shading. That's kind of one of the most important parts. So now I'm going over the edges with the pink once again to make sure that it's not too harsh, but to also just make sure that it's blending in perfectly. So I'm literally just going over the edges and then just adding more wherever I feel like I need more of the highlight. Now I'm going over the nose contour once again to get that more defined and you can see it is looking bomb, bringing that into the brow and I was loving how it was looking as you can see. Now we're going to go over the edge of where the face is actually separated and I want it to have more of like a smoky effect because you know the devil fire. I was like okay where I have the face split I want it to be black and I want it to look like it's kind of like burned because it's you know the devil's the devil on that one side and then the angel side on the other side so that's kind of what it is supposed to be looking like right here um we're going to work on it more and more as we go on but i'm going over this side here with the pink once again just because i felt like i wanted it to be a little lighter and even a little bit more with the red then i went in with this little um, thin brush and i just went over that line in the center and went with the black once again just to define it more and to give it kind of these horn looks because i just want that devilish 
look to really stand out. So we're going to put these little horn type of um, uh, type of uh, lines, <laughs> type of lines all the way down and going all the way down to the chest. So this is going to just have this nice effect that just looks like evil. I don't know. It just looks evil. <laughs> So first um, do the horns and as you continue to do it, then you can start to shade it and blend it in. So of course it looked just a little bit unblended at first, but now I am adding some more black and I'm just making it have more of a smoky effect by just getting a blending brush and blending that out. So that is the effect that we are going for on the line of where the separation is between the angel side and the devil side. Make sure that you take your time with this. This is the, of course sped up because this took some time so just go in and don't go in too harshly because you want it to blend and make sure to do the jawbone you want it to be just super chiseled for the devil's eye and i'm just going over the top as well and adding that black shading to make sure that that line is not a harsh line and that it is just pretty much going together cohesively um, I wanted to be careful with the nose because of course I don't want it to go all the way over um, so just make sure to be careful as you are going into certain areas and just really just blend 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 sometimes you may feel like you need to add a little bit more red do that and then go back into the black until it has the exact effect that you are looking for so I love how this is looking so far adding a little bit more red on the nose um, because it was getting a little too too dark and a little bit more red on the lip as well and then we are going to start the cut crease so I went into the black shadow and I am going into the eye and we are creating the cut crease right now going up and out and we are blending 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 And then we're going to go ahead and go in to the black elf cream liner to create the brow. I wanted to create the brow before I went in and started to do my shading um, because I'm not going to clean up the brow. So I just wanted to have the brow done before I created a gradient. So I'm putting this evil brow. You want it to have kind of a squiggle. And then I wanted it to be kind of the shape of a regular brow as far as the thickness because I'm going to have another brow on the other side and I wanted them to look kind of even. Now that I've gotten the brow pretty much how I, I want it, I'm going to make it just a little thicker later, you'll see. I'm actually adding some pink at the top of the cut crease to make sure that there is a gradient and it is not just black on top of the red. And I'm just adding a little bit more pink here. It's going to look a little harsh, but it's going to be blended out as I go over the nose contour a little later. But for right now, I'm just tapping that pink right above the black and trying to give it a gradient into the red. And it looks bomb. So we're going into the Rude Boy Red P. Louise base and cutting the crease, y'all. Let's cut this crease. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. A. Cut that crease, y'all. We are going to have a fierce eye for this devil side. It is going to be everything. So make sure that you take your time with this cut crease and you want it to come out. We want this to be all drama. This is not about to be no baby cut crease, okay? We've taken it all the way out. We are about to have the drama on this look. So let's have fun with it. You don't want to have no little baby eye and you trying to be the devil, okay? So I'm just shaping out my cut crease now i'm going into the big big box 64 palette and there's a red shimmer shadow in this palette that i thought was really cute and i need to put a shimmer shadow down because i'm putting down rhinestones and it's nice to have a shimmer under rhinestones in case there's any spacing issues um, before we go in with the rhinestones i like to do my liner first so we're doing a fierce fierce okay liner we're going to make sure that we have that winged out and make sure that it can cut somebody and we're going to make that go from the front to the back, to the back, to the back. Then we're going to go in with our dual lash glue and start adding these rhinestone jaws. It's time to glam this up, okay? So I was too lazy to look for my picker. So I just got the back of a brush, put some lash glue on it, and started applying those rhinestones. And once I finished that, I was like, you know what? We're about to bling out this eyebrow too because why not, okay? 
So now I'm adding the lash glue to the brows and I'm doing that same thing once again, the back of a brush, just put a little bit of lash glue on it to pick up those rhinestones and attach them to the glue on the brow and you're done. Now this is this took longer than it did in this video, believe you me, it's gonna take you 30 minutes to an hour to do this. Um, However, I just wanted to show you just the, some of the process because um, it's good just for you to be able to see. But it definitely took much longer than it looks like in this video. Just take your time. This is one of those times when you play some music and just chill. So now we're going to add some black underneath the eye to smoke it out. And look at how ugh, look how evil and devilish and glam it looks. I absolutely love how it's looking right now. Now we're going to go to the other side of the face. I am priming my skin and now I am setting it with setting powder and getting ready to put my foundation on blend that out and then I'm going to go into my concealer um, and these are both from Too Faced the foundation was brulee from the matte foundation and this is cookie concealer from Too Faced this is the Juvia's Place Zambia um, foundation stick and then the P. Louise base in Winter Rose for a cream blush I sped through this really because this is just my regular foundation routine if you watch any of my other videos so I really wanted to get more into the effects of the look than just like a regular foundation look but definitely if you want more details on how I do my makeup I will look at one of my other videos where you can really see me go in depth but this side is really just a standard makeup look at this point before we get into the glam of it all so I'm just blending everything out as you can see it is looking bomb even that once look at that one side just looking bomb then we went back into the setting powder and set everything once it was blended out then, of course, we're going to set once again and go in with the flower powder from Beauty Bakery to set the highlighted areas. This is in Plantin. And then we're going to contour the Contraposition Notebook and go um, chisel at that cheekbone because we need the chiseled cheekbones on both sides. Then we're going to go with the Chalk Dust Powder and the letter O and brighten. So we already set. Now we're just brightening everything. And we are going to get started on this eye, y'all. This is the magic. So we're going into our uh, Fruits Cosmetics Coconut um, Eye Primer to just, you know, get everything nice and smooth and prepared for the shadows. Then I'm going into that brown color that I showed you from the box of crayons palette from the crayon case. And I am blending that into my crease to create my cut crease. I'm bringing that to the front of my nose because I like to bring my eyeshadow to my contour. And then I'm going into this light tan color and I'm tapping that over the brown and then blending it to create a gradient. And I'm just using a blending brush right now to go over both of those colors and make sure it's blended seamlessly. And now that it is, we're going in with the coconut once again and cutting the crease. Now I have hooded lids, so I take my time cutting my crease to make sure that I get it high enough, but not too high. That's kind of the trick. Sometimes you can easily go too high, but I'm just right now matching it up with the other side and making sure that both sides look nice and even. Now that they do, I'm going in with this white sparkly shadow from the Crayon Case Box of Crayons palette and just tapping that over the whole lid. And this is going to also have rhinestones. So I'm going to go ahead and do my liner first once again because you want to put the liner before the stones. And we're going to wing it out so it can cut a bee once again because that's what we do. Okay. And now that that liner is looking nice, we're going to create a blonde brow, y'all. So we're going to put setting powder on your eyebrow, get your lightest concealer and just fill in your eyebrow as if it were, and you know, you were filling it in with a regular pencil. And then you're going to clean up your brow using your foundation um, before that actually set it and then brush through it. So set the um, concealer, brush through it with the spoolie and then clean it up with your foundation. And that's how you create a blonde brow if you ever wondered how to do that. And it's such a cute look. I'm obsessed. I've done it for a couple of my looks. You'll see as we go on with my other videos. And it came out so cute it just gives like a nice little difference of a flare you know but I didn't really go in too harshly with it because um, I'm doing rhinestones so I'm doing I did crystal rhinestones for this eyebrow really just put the lash glue and apply the stones the same way we did on the other side and look at how beautiful 
this looks this is our angel side so it's all light and so i just wanted to have a blonde brow underneath the stones so that if there's anything peeking through it would be too dark I went into the brown and I put that under the lash line. And now we're gonna go ahead and bronze up. So I'm in the bronzer from the Crayon Case um, palette and this is from the Blush Binder. And I am just cleaning up areas with a little bit of my setting powder and then adding some blush from the Blush Binder. Then I am adding some eyeliner, the Cream Black Eyeliner from e.l.f. Cosmetics into the waterline and blending that together um, with the brown. And then we're going into the Lashing Out Glam Mascara. And this is in the the uh, bottom line mascara is what it's called. And we're just getting those lashes popping. Get them shit popping, okay? Now, I'm going to be putting on some color lashes. Ooh, look at that. Ugh, it's looking good, y'all. It's looking good, okay? Mm, mm. I'm just giving it to y'all. Now we're going to go ahead and go into my concealer from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Put that on the lashes on both sides. What you're going to see is I'm actually going to have one red lash and one blonde lash. So on the red side, I'm adding some shadow on top of the concealer on the lash to make my regular lashes red. And then I'm going to pop on a lash that I made red doing the same thing with concealer and shadow. And I'm going to pop that on on the red side and on the blonde side i did the same thing i put concealer over the lash and then i put setting powder on it and that's how i created the blonde lash so you see the finished lash right now it is a nice red lash it just is going to give a nice flare and look at the blonde lash look at look at this look at look at this and that's why i said i haven't seen anybody do it quite like i did it with the angel because i did you know the whole blonde brow with the crystals i don't know i thought that i did a little flare to it that was really cute then for the bottom lashes i am adding some lash glue because we are going to be adding um some lashes from ardell and it's the little clusters and i made those red as well and i made some blonde bottom ones as well and it just looks so bomb to me just so different and abstract so you just add the lash glue to your bottom lashes and then boom look at that now i added a little bit of pink on the inner corner in the front i'm adding this bh cosmetics to my cheeks it is a diamond dazzler and look at how beautiful that looks i needed this sparkle for this side to be bomb okay and then for the other side, I did the Lashing Out Glam Princess Cut. And as you can see, it is bomb too. And it is pink so that it will just highlight with the red nicely. And I am so here for how this look is looking. So this is what we are looking like so far. It's time, of course, to start going into our lips. But first, actually, I wanted to retouch some of the black. As you can see, the black kind of got a little bit lighter as we worked on the angel side um, from the setting powders. So I just went back in and wanted to make it a little bit darker around where those little horns are that we created. So I'm doing that and I'm going all the way down to make sure that you can see the dramatic smoky effect that we were going for. So just line it, like I said, and then start to shade it after that. And we're going to get some of that intensity back. And now I added a black lipstick on one side and I added a um, nude lipstick on the other side. And then I went into that Diamond Dazzler and decided to just sparkle up the angel side because I just want the angel side to be super bright and just beautiful. And I added a blue contact for the angel side and boom. You got an angel and a demon. I'm so mad I didn't put my hair behind my ear so you could see the demon side a little more. All right, beauty. Ooh. So this is the final look on our angel and demon. And I am here for it. It came out so good. I absolutely love this contour that I did here. That's just super sharp for the devil. And the eyebrow and the sparkles. We had to, of course, add our bling like we always do. We got to jazz it up. We got to make it funky. And then on the side with the angel, we have it nice and beautiful and angelic and have this blue contact just to bring some more light to the eye and I am here for it. As you can see, I got the contrasting earrings as well and the wings and the angel devil. 
head bits and I am loving it. This would be a really cool idea if you wanted to do a costume from home. Um, I think that this would definitely work for you. Let me know how you guys feel about this look below. Are you feeling it? Is it giving you the vibe? Is it giving you a vibe? I wish I had a black background behind me so that you could kind of just see it like without all of the distraction of everything that's on my drawer but <laughs> um this is very very pretty and um let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below thank you guys so much for your support thank you for watching thank you for uh, tuning in to my first halloween look of 2021 i hope you guys have a wonderful night don't forget to like this video if you have not liked it comment below and let me know if you are feeling the angel and demon did i serve both sides let me know if you are feeling it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed subscribe subscribe hey hey subscribe subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed thank you so much for your support thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day bye so i see i did a terrible job showing the devil's side on um the video footage that i did with my camera so stay tuned to the end and you'll be able to see some footage i did with my phone where you can see the devil's side even better because it was really really a lot more defined than you're able to see here thanks for watching y'all bye